speaking with John Dilley with Global Ordnance. John, we're here at this NRA shooting competition. Uh, so tell me, sir, why are you here? Uh, we're here, obviously, to support the NRA, but uh, to get our, our name out. Global Ordnance as a whole is a defense contractor that's just kind of easing into the commercial side of things uh, with an e-commerce site. And we're taking a lot of our relationships from the defense side and leverage them for the commercial side. So a lot of that has to do with our distributors throughout the world, as well as our distributors here in the United States. So we've set up a website that has about 30 to 50,000 products off and on for the shooting industry. Uh, and we're looking forward to bringing in additional products from overseas that we've provided to the U.S. government for years and bring them to the commercial market here in the U.S. And John, you see a lot of that, whether it's military or law enforcement, that crossover to the commercial side. And you can't beat you know, the opportunity for folks to be able to use equipment like that because it's, it's great stuff. So you're wearing a shirt that says Australian Outback. Tell us about that. So Australian Outback ammo is something we're reintroducing into the United States. It was here for a few years, uh, 2015, 2016, fairly heavily. It's uh, produced by Australian Munitions, and they're the largest producer of ammunition for the Australian Defense Forces and New Zealand Defense Forces. So it's basically a military grade ammo with a commercial projectile in it. So we use a lot of Sierra bullets, we use a lot of Hornaday VMAX, and then even a Swift bullet in one of them. So we have a military grade primer, brass, and powder with a commercial bullet. So it's very high quality premium ammo. And one of the biggest different, one of the things that makes it different is it's proprietary powder that's called BTI. It's, it's ballistic temperature independent. So basically they take, for example, the 168 grain, they take it and they get the powder and bullet at minus five degrees to 125 degrees. And then they shoot it. And at 600 yards with this 168 grain, they only saw a variance in elevation of either an inch high or an inch low. Whereas powders without that BTI, you'll see an extreme variation of maybe seven inches high to 11 inches low. So that's one of the things we're trying to promote and push as, as just different and, and enhance the premium side of the ammo. So they're using some of that ammo at this competition? Yes, sir. Yep. We uh, sponsored one of the stages here. They're using our 55 grain Blitz King. Uh, shooters are loving it right now. It's running smooth through the guns right now. So you said, John Dilley, that you have, what, thirty to 50,000 products on that website? Yes, on globalordnance.com, uh, off and on, depending on everything on our site is in stock. So you don't go there and see coming soon or so on and so forth. So that's why there's a fluctuation sometimes between the numbers of products that are available. That's a lot of stuff. That's some pretty neat stuff. What has been the reaction on the commercial side to Global Ordnance? Uh, we, we believe it's been good. Uh, we're new to the game, we're somebody a little bit different, a little different flair, and I think the expertise we bring from the defense side allows us to work with consumers and customers in a little different aspect as far as our knowledge base.